Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a wig review. I'm here to show you Raquel Welch Trend Setter in the color Glazed Hazelnut, which is R829S+. Look at this cute shag. Basic cap. If you want to know more about this style, please stick around and I will tell you all about it. This wig is a super popular style. A lot of people love Trendsetter and it's been around for a really long time. And so I'm really excited to be able to show it to you guys and experience it for myself in one of my favorite Raquel Welch colors when it comes to highlighted auburn brunettes. It's just a beautiful color. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. Talk about sassy. This style has sass galore. It is just spiky and poofy and it's just out there. I know I have some wig sisters who just love big hair. This is big hair on steroids. It's a really, really cute style, but definitely not for everybody. Like I share with you in other videos where I'm showing a wig that has a lot of poof and a lot of permatease, I always say, please keep in mind, poof is hard to see on video. You're not getting like that three-dimensional um, all sensory type look when you're looking at a two-dimensional video and so you can't always tell poof so I usually tell people think about what you think you see for poof and add a couple of times to it just because it can be really hard to see so I want you to not be mistaken this is big hair and you can make it bigger if you want to it's got big permatease up here super super poofy pillowy permatease all on the very top and then it's got a little bit less but still substantial permatease all around so this cap is full of permatease and some of it is quite thick such as up here now what that allows you to do is really play with it and have fun but it can be a challenge for some people to have that much permatease on a wig I'm going to grab a headband here and just show you though how significantly a headband can tame poof. It really is like magic. Okay, so let's take a look at this. First of all, I want, I, I can't stress enough, in a wig this short, I can normally really squeeze it tight together, but this is, is really wanting to bounce back because it has so much permatease. So keep that in mind. Basic cap all around. We have extended ear tabs. An extended, it's sort of, that's a really interesting nape. So we've got like a soft nape and then we've got more of that hard material that extends it out. Really interesting. We've got Velcro adjusters and lots of stretch. Super stretchy. Um, let me see where I have this cinched because I like to try to put the adjusters as far out as I can put them and then assess size so it can help you guys as you're trying to decide if something will fit you. Yeah, this is running like average to average large. Uh, um, I have it all the way out and I, it's so loose on me. There is so much stretch on this wig. Um, let me cinch it in see what we got. So I have a 22 inch circumference and I, oh yeah, <laughs> this is running pretty big. So I would say if you have a 20, up to a 22 and a half, you're going to fit this just fine, maybe even up to a 23 if you're used to stretching wigs a little bit and having them be a little bit, you know, like using, utilizing that stretch. Um, I would say that the, the hair density is low to moderate. This doesn't have a ton of hair. I'd say it's moderate, but the permatease makes it feel like it's a lot, a lot of hair. Now, styling products will go a long way toward helping you customize the style. So if you, you know, want to tamp it down, you could put some product in it. You can, you know, put bobby. I have a video where I show you how to tame poof on a wig using bobby pins, which I will link below. And because this is a basic cap and doesn't have any monofilament, you can actually sort of part it wherever you want to. You can shift those fibers around and, you know, you might have to work work them a little bit to get them to go maybe in a direction that they don't really 
naturally want to, but you can totally do that. I'm just trying to show you how just getting your hands in there and playing with it can really change the look of this one. Let me grab a headband and let me show you a little bit of styling. So I've remembered to put some headbands down here now, but now I need to get a bandana. I think this would be so darling with a bandana tied around it like um, in a headband shape. I think that would be so darling. I just did that with an Ellen Villa wig I had and I put out a short video to, to just give encouragement to show you that styling your wigs can make a huge difference. Now I love these headbands because they look like cloth headbands. They ha look like they have like uh, fat, uh, scarf material tied around it, but they're so stretchy, so easy to use. And even a wig like this that is so full due to permatease, it fits perfectly. It's not squeezing my head at all. This would not make me uncomfortable. I could wear this all day long. So you just put it in, you arrange it however you want, and then you can tame it down or you can, you know, amp up behind so it's a little bit flatter here and it's got a little bit more of a poof in the back. So if you find yourself a good price on a wig like this, maybe you find it on clearance, maybe you find it on the secondary market, but you're just not sure if you can handle this much volume, keep in mind styling can really make a big difference and help a lot with that. So don't always be afraid to go outside your comfort zone. I'm trying to teach you how to play with your wigs, how to make them your own, so that you can take advantage of good prices if you get an opportunity. All right, let's, let me think here. Covered size, density, permatease, fits, I mean, so comfortably. I get excellent coverage on this one. Um, most of the time I do with Raquel Welch. Because of how short and choppy these layers are, there's not a lot of hair to tuck on the sides. But I mean, if you really want to get in there and kind of tuck it and maybe use some bobby pins, I think you can do that. And then obviously with all of this length in the back, even though this is a short wig, the length I think will be good for anybody as far as your hairline goes and being able to see your hair at the nape. Like I've told you guys in the past, if you're looking at a shorter wig, please keep in mind anything less than a two inch nape, where does your hairline fall so that you know if you're going to have any problems with uh, coverage. But I think this one should be just fine. All right, let's talk about this color. I love this color. This is a very auburn, brunette, highlighted, bold. It's not outrageous though, but I love the way that they've got it's the, so they call it glazed. So the auburn in here has like a glazed look about it. It's just like it's lit from within. Not wig shiny, just a beautiful brightness to it. And then they've got that kind of you can see the pops of color and then some more muted brunette a little bit more of the brunette down here, but they do put that sort of glazed auburn color all throughout. Another thing, you can't see the permatees on this one. I love that because it has so much permatease, you really could run the risk of seeing it. You cannot on this one because of how voluminous the hair is. It's possible that you could get one where you could see the permatease a little bit. I would, I can imagine maybe a lighter blonde or a gray with no rooting. It is possible because there's so much permatease on this one, but because it's got enough hair, I think if you just play with it and pick that hair up, you should be fine um, with being able to hide that permatease if that's a concern of yours. So I'm going to get outside so you can really see this color outside, but the the person who's going to love this color loves auburn and loves just a vibrant, bright, um, kind of an auburn brunette. I've got a hair fiber that I can just see, but I can't grab it. Um, you know, somebody who likes more muted colors, like doesn't like kind of out there, like truly looks like you went to a salon and spent a lot of money having them do that, then this is going to be a little bit too much for you. And you may find people are going to ask you who does your hair. So keep that in mind if you wear a color like this, but it's gorgeous. Really pretty. All right, everybody, let's get outside and see this color outside. This wig is perfect for someone looking for big hair, lots of volume. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, everyone, here we are. Glazed hazelnut out in natural light you can really see here how 
kind of the contrast between, I love, love the highlighting on this. I love how they did that. It's beautiful. Let's get up close. We're starting, I'm gonna see if I can get into some natural sunlight. We're starting to get to the time of year when it's harder for me to get good sunlight. Make sure you can get a good look at this. I can't look at you when I'm in the sun though. So I'm going to come back over here and wrap up. Okay, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully that helped if you're considering this color. Thanks for watching.